What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy my last vlog so much and I didn't realize that y'all would, but it makes me really happy. So I just figured maybe on my channel, I'll just start incorporating vlogs here and there. Um, you know, just getting little clips throughout, you know, a week or maybe even two weeks and then posting the vlog. I love watching videos like that because, you know, you still get to see the normal content like beauty, hair, whatever related to that channel, but you also get a little sneak peek into their life. So that's what we're gonna do. I told you on the last vlog that my husband and I are youth pastors at our church, and today we're having a huge youth cookout at our house, and we're getting the yard situated. We have a, I think it's like 175 foot um, slip and slide that we have created in our backyard. We're actually building a fire pit. Stay tuned because you might see your girl do the slip and slide. I don't know because I have a bum shoulder. It's probably not a good idea, but listen, how often do you get 175 foot slip and slide? I need to get started on cleaning my house, cleaning my kitchen before everyone comes over. There's probably gonna be maybe a total of like 40 people or so. <laughs> Debut on my channel, right there. <laughs> it's right, fogging up. Here's the slip and slide. Hopefully I don't kill myself like going down this thing. This, this should be really interesting. We just power washed all of this. So we've got the tables all set up and about ready to put all the food on it. And we're excited. It is about time for the cookout to start. I've been cleaning all day long, getting stuff ready and now i am so exhausted but i'm going to take you outside just to kind of show you what's going on the kids should be here in probably like 20 minutes or so and the fun will begin say hi what's up we got the cook over here do you mind being on my channel look at what we got oh this dude cooks the most bomb hot dogs oh he's gonna do a little emerald lagasse bam Walk out the door in my little black dress Been a long day and I need to de-stress Sun sets behind downtown skyline My headphones on play my favorite song Turn the volume up all the way on my phone Pulsing concrete under my feet City is my club tonight Hips way under traffic lights Streets are glowing Working hard. Maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shout out to the Glamville YouTube. <laughs> hey, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that's, the notification that's bell. That's right. <laughs> Woo! I am here this morning. It's Monday morning to get my MRI on my shoulder. I'm a little bit, I'm not nervous. I just hope I don't get claustrophobic. It's been a long, I've only had one MRI ever and it's been a long time, so hopefully I don't get claustrophobic in there. I don't think I will. I, of course, won't have any answers today. I have to go back to ortho doctor on Thursday to get the results and figure out like course of action and everything, but holding this camera up is killing my, killing my arm. Cycling class, done. Got my boy Chris over here, killed it. Got Skyler over here, killed it. And I'm, di I'm dying, I'm dying. What's up everyone? I know I look a little bit different. I used the Curl Smith Hair Makeup Gel. I love that product so, so much. The gel is just awesome, but it comes in five different colors and I decided to try the color Ruby today. I just finished filming a Shein haul. That's what those clothes right there are back there for. This shirt I actually got from there. It's so cute, this nice little neon pink ribbed situation. It's a little halter top, so, so cute. But I forgot to update you guys about the MRI. Just the MRI itself was fine. I wasn't claustrophobic and it only took 25 minutes or something. So I was expecting it to be like an hour long. It actually went pretty quick and it was 
painless and it was fine. I have been working on content all day long. The life of an influencer, I tell you, some days are like super chill and then other days you are just grinding all day long. And sometimes it can be really hard because you're at home. So you have to dig deep for motivation. But I also wanted to show you guys, I received this little package in the mail. My first official package from YouTube, which is super weird. Guys, I got my play button. Are you kidding me? I literally cannot believe this. This actually makes me want to cry. I can't, I can't even believe it. So it says presented to the Glam Bell for passing 100,000 subscribers. This is for all of you out there. This is for every single person that decided to stick around and subscribe to my channel and to support me on this crazy journey. When I started this channel, I did it as a hobby. I did it because I loved helping people with like beauty stuff. And I did not think that I would be able to turn this into a, a actual job, like do this for a living. And it's such a great reminder that it does not matter who you are, where you came from, what you can and can't do. If you have a desire to do something, if you have a passion to do something, don't let anyone tell you that you can't achieve it. If you work hard enough, if you research enough, do your homework and put forth the effort, you can do it. I say it all the time, but I really do feel like this is still just the beginning. And I just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to every single person that has supported me along this journey. I love you. I appreciate you. And you hold a very special place in my heart. What's up? Wow. What a crazy night. Super crazy night. Why are you staring up at me? Today's Wednesday and we went to church tonight. The youth worship team is doing like the full worship set on Sunday morning in our big service, our normal service. So we were taking tonight to really get in a lot of practice and whatnot. So we shortened the youth service and then got right back into worship practice. And while we were practicing, it started storming really, really bad. Like really bad and then all of a sudden you guys it was the scariest thing the youth building that we were singing in got struck by lightning and all the kids were like some of them were by the door some of them were upstairs and obviously there was a bunch of them that were on the worship team singing and stuff and it was so it literally sounded like a bomb went off it rattled every part of my insides, my heart, my brain, my stomach, everything like just shook. And it actually burnt up the entire breaker in our youth building. Like I thought something was on fire. It, it stunk so bad in the room where the breaker was. And then we looked down and it's like flooding. It was just, tonight was crazy. Shaylin was there with me. I was sad we had to stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I know. Worship was going so good. The song that we were singing is literally called The Name of Jesus is Lifted High. So it's super upbeat and it, the words are like just super powerful about like revival falling and people being saved. We were just going off like worshiping and everything and then we were just singing and then boom it happened and I was like come on the devil was getting a little annoyed getting a little too hype over there yep so he wanted to shut it down but little does he know sunday morning it's gonna be twice as good that's right ain't nothing gonna keep us from singing and worshiping and lifting the name of jesus hi hope you all are liking the red hair what did you think about my red hair i really like it i think it makes her look young she said it makes me look young so i think i'll keep it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever so that's what happened tonight wow what a crazy insane night it is thursday still rocking the red i love it just wanted to give you all a little update went to the doctor this morning and uh got the results of the mri everyone that prayed for me thank you so so much because i am so happy the results came back um showing no tear from what he could see he basically said that it's exactly what he was expecting it's like a severe case of impingement syndrome with bursitis uh which is why it's like so much cracking and popping and just it sounds really bad and obviously it hurts when it's cracking and popping and all that he basically said that uh cortisone shot should really help with it and 
even though I've had one in the past and it really didn't. He said that he's actually had this same issue with his shoulder and he had to get a couple of cortisone shots and his shoulder is better now. So it does not look like surgery will be required if things stay how they are. So I did get a cortisone shot today and hopefully that's gonna give me some relief really, really quickly. Um, but the best part is that he's not like limiting my activity or anything like that. He basically said, I can still do exercises, you know, like over my head, doing shoulder exercises and all of that. He gave me like an exercise regimen to do at home. And if that doesn't help, then I'll go to physical therapy and have them kind of work it out just to help with like range of motion and all of that. It's the best case scenario, y'all. Like I was so worried that I was going to have to have surgery. Keep the prayers coming that the pain subsides and that the cracking and popping and all of that subsides. Today I am going to be editing because I've done nothing but film the last two days. Yeah, so that's that's what is going down for today. I'm going to just kind of chill and edit some and that's it. I love you guys so, so much. All right, I just got in this package from Mega Fit Meals. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I paid for all of this myself. I've been really wanting to try a meal prep service. This is like ready to go and you can either pop it in the microwave or throw it in the skillet. Mainly I wanted to do this for my lunches. I really just don't have the time to be prepping three meals a day every single day. And I know when I don't meal prep that I end up grabbing things that aren't good for me. This place seemed to have a lot of good selections as far as meals go. So I figured I would unbox it and see what it looks like in here. Here are all the meals and the smallest order that you could do was 12 meals. Fiesta turkey, salmon and jasmine rice, lemon pepper tilapia, glazed cod, sweet and spicy chicken. But I'm gonna go ahead and cook my first one and see how I like it. Now I gotta figure out which one I want. So I am trying out the coconut crusted cod fish as my first meal and I'm doing the preferred method. You can microwave it, but the preferred method is to throw it in a skillet and just heat it up to however much you want to heat it up to. Taste test before adding any like flavoring, salt and pepper, anything. Tastes like broccoli, it's good. But it actually does have a good flavor. Tasting the fish. Mmm. That's really good. It's actually still a little bit cold because it's kind of a thick piece of fish. So I'm probably gonna actually pop this in the microwave, but that tastes really, really good. I'll keep you guys posted on what I think of the other meals, but this one is a winner. What's up everyone? I look like a drowned rat. I just finished up with a wedding. Today is Saturday um, and I've been working a wedding all day today. And as soon as it was time for me to leave and pack up all of my stuff, which I, have a lot of stuff that I carry with me. It started pouring. So I literally had to carry all my stuff out in the rain. And so my hair looks horrible. I'm gonna fix this up and see what I can do with it. I'll probably end this vlog. I'm not gonna vlog a lot today just because I'm going to meet some friends. I'm gonna try and see. I think I just might just put my hair up at this point. I'm wondering, uh, why, why, have, why haven't we seen this? For my Awakening occurred yet in our church and in our city and everything that we've been praying for for years. In reality, none of us have been in the secret place. <laughs> Nothing is better.